Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. What are we doing today? Uh, you're gonna have to stick around and find out. Watch that intro, hit the subscribe button, and I'll show you what we're doing today. Here we go. <laughs> Hey everyone, as you can see, today is a nice beautiful day out here, and behind me, you can see what I'm finally going to be doing. We got a bright red Ford, F-150 Lariat, and we're going to be adding an awful lot of bass in the back here. Let's see if I can't show you what we have going in it. We have SCAR Audio RP3500.1D followed by pair four SCAR SVR-8 inch subs. We have the two channel line out converter. We have a one gauge amp wiring kit. We got the grills and we have an under seat box. That is ported. So, we're going to get this started. I'm going to fix my hair because it's kind of messy. What little I have left. In the meantime, I'm going to get started on the amp rack. We're going to put the amp right here behind the back seat. I'm going to, I've started making an amp rack out of some uh, PVC half inch sheet. We're going to bend it up have it so it bolts to these seat brackets. It's gonna come up here and the amp will sit right there against the back wall, tucked out of sight, nice and neat. And it should look pretty good going along with that SCAR sub box for those four eights. So I'm gonna go in the shop, get ready, get things started, and uh, go from there. So stick around, see what we do. All right, so here we have our amp. It's the RP3500.1D. There's our main power inputs. And then on this side, you have all your gains, your subsonic filter, your bass EQ, remote bass doll, low pass filter, your phase. And if you're running multiple, you have your master and slave switches, your input outputs. This here, we're going to be running it on ohm mono, and it does 3,500 RMS. Um, it's going to be a lot of power. So then, on this side, you see we've got our power ground, and then we have our speaker outputs. They're bridged internally, so it doesn't matter if you use these two. This positive, that po negative, this positive, this negative. It's just, they took the one input, or one output, split it in into two terminals to make the wiring a little bit better. So, as you can see, it is sitting on some plastic. I've already gone, kind of routed off the edge a little bit. And the amp itself is going to sit on it like that. I'm going to put a couple brackets here on the bottom that'll bolt to uh, the seat bolts that are in the truck, get it bolted down, secured, and that should make this mount in there quite nicely, keep it out of the way, easy to access if I have to, and uh, from that point we can start running some power wire and uh, see if we can't get these subs working. So stick around, I'm going to go bend up some plastic, do some checking on measurements, and get this put in the truck. So here we go. All right, as you saw earlier, we were getting ready to make the amp rack for this SCAR Audio amp. So now we have it in place. You can see I've got it bolted right here, so that keeps the bottom secure. We've got a tab here that goes up to the seat belt here, bolted in behind that. So this is not going anywhere, nice solid. The amp's gonna mount here. All these holes on the bottom, they're drilled for uh, some zip ties so we can run the power and ground this way and uh, 
keep working it from there. So now I'm going to get the amp mounted, get some wires run, and see if we can't start making some more progress on the stereo. So stick around, I'll show you what we look like when we're done. All right, thanks for sticking around. There is our SCAR RP3500.1 amp mounted. As you can see, I've still got lots of space here. For over here, get the wires run, going up over the passenger side and uh, make it nice and neat under here. Keep all the wires hid. As you can see, everything's gonna be nice, tidy, tucked in there. So now, let's go open up the amp wire kit and get some power wire run. So stick around, come join me under the hood. Here we go. All right, here we are under the hood. As you can see, we're think I'm thinking making a bracket right here next to the battery. Mount the mount the fuse holder right to it. I'm just gonna bolt up to right here. Power wire can come straight off. Make a loop around and then go straight out down there to that rubber grommet and then back to the amp. So I'm gonna get bending up some plastic, figure out what I can work with and show you what we get. All right, so here's what I'm playing with. There's a fuse holder. There's a rough shape for our mount. That's gonna sit right there like that. I do have to still clean up some edges, round it over, whatnot. But uh, this here will bolt right to the battery box of the truck. This here is gonna bolt right down there, clean up the edges, and we'll have a nice solid fuse holder mount. So I'm gonna get working on that. And while I do that, go click the subscribe button. Click subscribe, click like, let me know what you think of this install so far. Let me know what you think of the work I'm doing. Or even just, just to drop a comment, say hi. So, I'm going to get working. Go click that subscribe, and we'll see you back here in a second. Hey! Alright, thanks for sticking with us. Gave you a minute there. Go click that subscribe button. Just me talking. Now I'm going to show you what I've done. As you can see, we have... Fuse holder mounted up right here. The wire is bent around. It's going to go over and it's going to come right up on top of the battery terminal here. This one here, that's going to tuck in behind like that. It goes way down through that uh, grommet and then through the rest of the vehicle. So this here, that's a nice solid mount, easy to get to. So if you ever have to replace the fuse, it's right there. And like I said, it goes through the grommet here. I cut the nipple off the rubber grommet. And see if I can show you how far down in behind in the cab it goes. You can see it's going to go right up in behind there. And then it's going to come down and around through the rest of the vehicle and then to the back and hook up to the amp. So I'm going to make this look a little nicer and uh, get it finished. Then we're going to hook up the amp, wire up the subs and uh, see if we can't make some bass and stick around, find out how this works. So I'm going to get back to work and enjoy some more of this really hot sunny day. As you can see I'm probably kind of sweaty but no AC today, but it'll be good tonight on the bike. So I'm going to get back to work so I can do that and uh, stick around. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We're inside the truck now. I got uh, the power wire run. I've got the remote on wire run up to uh, the switched power. RCA's are run. So now we're going to get the radio hooked up. We got our, our speed wire that we're going to use. I'm only using the white and grays. And I'm using the blue wire as our 12 volt going to the line out converter from uh, SCAR Audio. So what we've done, 
is I found the wires I need. There's the white purple, white orange, and then the white with white brown. Those are my speaker wires for the, the front speaker. And then I've got my 12 volt power that I'm gonna run inside the speed wire going to the, the line out converter. And then we're just gonna ground that down in the kick panel to a factory ground. So I'm gonna get that hooked up, show you afterwards, and uh, see how it works. And then we've got a box we've got to wire up and get the subs put into there. We'll be running, doing a final ohm load of two ohms because I have four eight inch SCAR subs and they're dual four ohm each. So a little series parallel connections, get it down to two ohms and that should match up to the, the output of the amp quite nicely. So I'm gonna get back to work and sit back and see what I do, stick around. Hey, thanks for sticking around everybody. We have finished the speed wire for our uh, line out converter. It's not, I don't have it tucked up out of the way, but as you can see, we have it going right there to the line out converter. Made a nice little harness. Ground is right there. This is gonna zip tie up there out of the way. So it'll be nice and clean when it's done. As you can see, we have a ignition wire down here in the driver's harness that goes back to the amp for the remote on. So now our next step is going to be wiring up the sub box. It is a eight inch, a four eight inch sub box. As you can see, made by SCAR. Comes pre-wired. It's a pretty nice wire. So we're gonna get these subs loaded in. I gotta finish wiring up the amp. And then we should be able to say, we got bass. So I'm gonna start getting on that and uh, stick around, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you shortly. Hey everyone, welcome to day two of this Ford F-150 build. So far, what we've done, we have, and get some light in there. We have a SCAR Audio RP3500.1. It's, uh, I'm gonna get that wired up here shortly. We've got the line out converter from SCAR. That it was tucked up in the driver's kick panel. And we have all the fusing under the hood done. And let's see. There we go, and you can see fuse holders right there. There's all the wiring ready for it. So today we're going to get the base dial hooked up, gonna finish wiring up the amp, and then get these little eight inch puppies put in, in the back and start getting some bass going. So stick around. I'm going to get back to work and bring you along for the journey. So here we go. Alright, so here we are in the truck. We got our base dial for our SCAR audio amp. And I'm kind of looking at putting it right below the trailer backup wiring. Right, right there in that nice little cubby hole. It tucks in there decently nice just to start. I'm going to have a little bit of trimming to do to make it really fit in there like I want it to. But it's going to keep it out of sight, out of the way of you won't hit your knee on it. You won't hit your hand when you're shifting gears or changing the temp. So I think that's going to be a great spot for it. So I'm going to mount it. Wire's already run, so I just got to figure out how to get it in there to stay and make it look good. So here we go. All right, so we just finished mounting up our base doll. There it is. It's inside of, uh, inside that little pocket that was in the dash there. So now, the way I've done it, 
is I put a hole in the bottom to allow this cable to go in and then it's screwed up through the top so it's mounted solid and there was an electrical connector on the back here for different models that could still be plugged in even though it does nothing it's at least there's not just a connection drifting around back there with nothing hooked up to it so makes it a little nicer looks continues to look factory only it's not so I'm going to get that put back together and we're going to move on to uh, wiring up the amp rack. So stick around. Here we go. Hey bun, thanks for sticking around. We are getting ready to wire up the subs now. Can't show you the amp yet. It's all mounted. It's kind of tucked in there a little bit. So right now we're going to see about get some wiring going. We have these little 8 inch scars going in rated at 400 RMS dual 4 ohm the SVR-8 D4 so we're going to get these put in see how they sound get everything tuned and adjusted and uh, let you hear the final results so here we go I'm going to get Matt and some subs alright we're almost done this truck we are under the final touches now and we're going to throw some grills on here just for the protection of the subs and then we'll put it down crank it up set everything see how she sounds and uh, let the customer know his truck is done and ready and have another nice sound and system out there on the streets so i'm going to get put some screws in get these all lined up so they're all straight you stick around Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think the system's going to do. Is it going to sound good? Horrible? What not? And we'll let you know in the end how it's how these four 8-inch scar subs are going to sound. So hang tight. We'll be right back. All right. We are done. Give you a quick rundown. There's the amp. The Scar Audio RP3500. Point one D going to the four eight inch scar subs they now have nice front grills on them ready to go ready to make some noise and they're even in a scar audio box which is designed for these Fords and it fits under there real nice See it's tucked in there. Nice curves around the side. They flow with the the bench. So now we turn it on, see what it does, and give you a full overview of the whole system. So stick around. couple days getting the stereo done but it's well worth it I wasn't much of a scar fan before this but after hearing these eights I think I can get a, get around listening to them this the system actually sounds quite nice I'm actually quite impressed with it uh, 
rattles the windows. You hear some of the body parts rattling in the truck. But the base itself is still quite clean, solid, hard hitting, and I've got no issues, complaints with it. Uh, everything's working flawlessly. That box, like I said, fits in there perfect. Corners around it, so it even blends right into the the seat. The grills, they all line up nice. Uh, so, with that, right, this job is done. Let the customer know that he can come get it anytime. I'm enjoying his AC right now. Uh, it's another humid day for us. But uh, with that, I'm going to say this car is done. So, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the install. Uh, what you think of the video. I'm trying a few new things here and there with the editing. Let me know what you think of those. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Who knows what else I'm going to bring up next. I've still got some more powder coating. Still got some more car audio I'm going to be doing up here. So uh, stick around. Hit that subscribe. Hit like. Drop a comment. Let me know you're watching. And until next time, stay warm. Keep it loud.